where did the stigma even stem from? Because I ain't never seen a librarian that looked like that. All the ones I've seen were old and five days away from being creamy. I, I mean, soil for the li I mean, <laughs> I gotta stop with these jokes. Before I start this video, YouTube, these are jokes. Please don't demonetize another one of my videos. All right, let's jump into it. So we've spoke on the different types of kids in school. Yeah. We've even talked about the types of clothes that the students wore in high school. Yeah. But we can't forget another key component that factored into how your school year was going to go. You got many different archetypes and builds, so we're gonna just jump right into it and discuss the different types of teachers in high school. The first one we'll discuss are the gym teachers. Now, you already know the irony when it comes to gym teachers how are y'all qualified to even teach gym when y'all look like y'all haven't been to one since prehistoric times the last time this man picked up a weight was when michael jackson was charting billboard gym teachers don't run or lift or anything the only thing that they be lifting are crispy cream jelly filled donuts into that black hole you call a mouth why a black hole because what do black holes and gym teachers have in common they eat everything and then they put us through head because when you walk into class, he will ruin your day with four words. Fitness Gram Pacer Test. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi- Man, I did the Pacer Test before in June. And you know what I told him? I said, fail me. I'm not doing that test. Nah, that test right there, that was dead. He was like, I made a promise to the principal and myself that I would whip you guys whip. Okay, that's a fine choice of words. I made a promise I would whip you guys into shape. Who do you think you are? My I am not young Midoriya. This is not my hero academia and you need to stop making promises you can't keep. Promise to whip us into shape. I would say you need to worry about whooping yourself into shape, but it looked like you already beat us to the punch. <laughs> you are in shape. A very round shape. The shape of a sphere. The shape of a sack of potatoes. The shape of bubble baths off a of SpongeBob. The shape of a McDonald's Big Mac with a large fry. The shape of a 16 gallon glad heavy duty trash bag. The shape of an extra large Tide detergent bottle. The shape of Mount Everest. The shape of the whole northern hemisphere on Earth. The shape of the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We get the picture. <sighs> okay, okay. Gym teacher so lazy, in fact, they couldn't even fit in the picture. You get a two out of ten, but quit your job. Next on our list, we have that old lady teacher. Everyone had that one old lady that every student in school hated. Skin wrinkly, always had a scowl on their face. You know, the proof that dinosaurs once roamed the earth. Now, where have I heard that before? This teacher was the most strict, annoying, nagging, stress-inducing person on the entire face of Earth, which she was definitely around for when God created it. I don't understand why people this old even still teach. Shouldn't you be retired somewhere on the beach, enjoying the rest of your life and the little bit you have left of it? You know, living it up, sipping pina coladas, traveling out the country, picking out flowers for your casket. <coughs> you can go all day and no teacher will give you any type of homework. And then, when you think you're good and the rest of the day is clear, you get to Miss Rosa Parks' childhood best friends class and you have homework and an extra assignment on top of that. I used to wish my teacher would break a hip tripping over those melons she drug around every day on the floor behind her. Zero out of ten. Just retire already. The next type of teacher we have is the one that didn't care. One of my personal favorite types of teachers. You walk into class and the assignment was already on the board. You got to sit wherever you wanted, kick it with the gang. They always passed you even if you didn't deserve it. Gave out the easiest extra credit. Dude would ask you what one plus one is and boom, 200 points for extra credit for no reason never really taught anything in fact i don't even know how this man was even still employed because the whole room could be on fire and he still wouldn't care as long as we didn't get her to break anything these types probably were detrimental to the school system seeing as they really didn't do anything but at the time i probably didn't care because it wasn't my job to teach so seven out of ten can't give you a ten out of ten because you didn't do your job stupid next up you have your favorite teacher, like your literal favorite teacher. Throughout the 12 years of high school, there was that one teacher that cared about your well-being, cared about you passing. Sometimes you can go to them with your problems and issues and they would actually listen. You were amongst the very few of their favorite students. They might even bring you a snack or food to class. If they saw your grades slipping or you acting out, they butt heads with you because they actually were concerned about your future. We actually need more teachers like this. I used to walk to school since it was 
was six or seven minutes away but one day it was freezing outside snowing too and the teacher that was on their way to school they had seen me walking and ended up giving me a ride to school now i don't know if the teachers were actually allowed to do that but i wasn't turning down a free ride to school and it was freezing outside 10 out of 10 probably the best one on the list now we have the um uh let's just say this teacher probably helped out some students with extracurricular activities i'm not gonna speak too much about them because i don't want youtube to demonetize me because they don't play about that these teachers dress like they were those one stereotypical librarian white button down collar shirts showing off their assets black skirt red bottom stilettos glasses hair in a bun where did the stigma even stem from because i ain't never seen a librarian that looked like that all the ones i've seen were old and five days away from being creamy I, I mean soil for the i mean <laughs> i gotta stop with these jokes you walk into her class after school for some help and there's a dryer in the middle of the classroom hey miss rachel i'm here for tutoring oh hey timmy could you give me a hand um miss rachel why is there a dryer in the classroom uh don't don't worry about that it, it seems that i've gotten stuck in this dryer can you uh can you help me out now where have i seen this before wait uh miss rachel i thought you were gonna help me with my grades if you come help me then we can talk about a little extra credit uh i'm fine with extra she gets a 50 out of 10 for sure the last teachers we have are the mentally unstable ones one minute she's happy the next minute they're angry and yelling at the class the minute after that she's crying because her boyfriend broke up with her and left her and her 14 cats to be with the store manager of Chuck E. Cheese is is that even still a thing like are, are they still open you never knew which version of the teacher would show up that day like who gave this woman a job she kind of reminded me of that teacher from iCarly real watched iCarly Spencer broke up with her because she was crazy and ended up giving the whole class extra work because she was lonely and miserable yeah negative 12 out of 10 get you a therapist and leave the school all right uh but that'll be it for this video appreciate y'all staying to the end and watching you already know what to do give those uh crazy confessions i'll see y'all next time oh yeah make sure y'all follow me on my social medias all right <laughs> now nah, i'll see y'all next time